Hello everyone, I am here to do a quick preview on my Ranger and show some gameplay of it. Um, I'm basically a lightning arrow with a frenzy uh, based on a very high elemental damage. So every damage, all the damage that I do is actually elemental. Um, so uh, reflect is not a problem because I use purity along with all the nodes which uh, mitigates it and makes it very nice. Uh, I will start explaining my, my build. Uh, what do I do for this character is very simple yet very nice. Uh, what do I stack basically is attack speed, life and elemental damage. I will take a quick reveal here with you guys on all my three uh, explaining the main features of it. Well, to start off, um, as I said, attack speed is very important. Uh, attack speed again with dex, which is more armor, and I will explain why later. So, more life here, um, frenzy charges, uh, more life. Um, Weapon, weapon elemental damage here, it's very good, good source of damage. Uh, more life here, um, a servant node, because I need 151 intellect in order to use wrath, which is my main source of damage for auras. Um, more life as I said, um, go here to get iron reflex. What? What is what's one thing that's funny is I don't use nothing with evasion, as you can see. Uh, my armor, 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 and armor. Okay, so why do I use that? It's very simple. Uh, as I said, I use auras, right? Okay, so I use grace. Grace has an uh, amazing amount of evasion, which multiplies by my starting nodes here which grants me evasion, it's 48% evasion on top of that which is about 600 extra armor which also multiplies when I use granites so um, on the very ending with determination that multiplies on top of that I have basically about 30k armor which makes this very very tanky uh, along with the health pool that I have which is 90.5k which I do plan on increasing as I level but as I said I'm level 89 so that's gonna take a while um, alright um, uh, as I was saying I have another friends charge here with uh, the other one that I had right here so uh, and the quest the bandit quest I got another one so I have a total of six frenzy charges, which, as you can see here, I have a perfect quality frenzy. So every single charge that I have is five percent extra attack speed, not just for frenzy, but also for light arrow. So what I do is I keep my my stacks all the time, so I have an extra of thirty percent. Uh, extra attack speed for light arrow and for frenzy but since it's um, since it's quality I have 18% extra attack speed per charge so that's about 72 extra so it's pretty much a machine gun when I am fully fully buffed I'll show on that very shortly but let's keep going here Oh, as I said, more life regen and more life. More attack speed. Uh, this character can never be stunned, so anything that would stun me, it won't. It's crazy. Uh, as going here, I'll show guys the next. That's the very key for my build. This resolute technique. It means I never miss, never miss a single attack. Uh, uh, I, as I said, I stack a lot of elemental damage, so I'm basically uh, a caster. I never miss, so I sustain a very high elemental damage over time. It's insane, and I will show you guys that. Um, as going here, 
maximum um, resist uh, to counter reflect so this character is pretty it's nearly impossible to die it took me 89 levels to die and I just died because I lacked MDC so yes that's that's sad but but anyways let's keep going uh, uh, more life as I said uh, here is multiply reduction for criticals for any players or mobs uh, more regen and more life life is something that you guys are gonna see too much here <laughs> just just talking about more life uh, uh, here more weapon elemental damage and more life life regen and strength uh, well, why do I range in its strength? It's very simple. Its strength equals life, so yes, more life. <laughs> so coming back here, more life, and this is what I want you guys to take a look at. Uh, those two nodes here are basically 20% chance to shock whenever I do lightning damage, which is all the time, either for frenzy. Light narrow, of course. What 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 is a shock stack? Well, basically, a shock stack is 40% total damage multiplier. So it it can stack up to three times. So what it means? It means that I will do 120 extra damage all the time when I'm frenzied. And my attack speed is very high. Yeah, stuff just melts, you know, that's insane build. Uh, what I wanna also show is the last key feature of this character, which is 30% um, extra auras um, buffs, you know, buffs on you, which is which is um, granite flasks and auras. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys a very cool feature, which is to maximize the this character you know as you notice I don't have a very common node here which is blood magic which spends uh, mana uh, I mean life instead of mana my mana pool is very shy uh, while my life is very huge so why don't I have that well it's simple because I use everything that this game has to offer so blood magic gems instead so I can have mana pool, so I can use uh, percentage hours on it and make this character rock. All right, so I'm gonna show now what I do. It 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 will come with this package, of course. That's the covenant. It's a unique 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 um, chest which grants me um, blood magic, and I'll show how I use it. Just so you guys know, uh, I use of course comms, which is the best arm of the game. It is insane. It grants me, as you guys can see, I have 9.5 health here. If I remove it, I have 5.7. That's absurd. So, back to the back to track. Let's let's talk about it. So, as you can see, I have mana here, right? But when I put it, I don't have mana anymore because I have blood magic. So how that works? Well, I have wrath, anger, and rage, right? And this is enduring cry. It's very important to have. So I will remove it, and I'm gonna put mana, reduce mana. So I will cast now grace, um, wrath, and anger. This is my source of elemental damage, along with armor. All right. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna replace this enduring cry with the reduced mana and replace back my combs so now I'm gonna go to town and and regain my mana and I'll go back to the labs so I have mana full right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put reduced mana here on top of my rejuvenation totem I, I use also decoy totem, depends on the situation, but I prefer rejuvenation totem. Well, now I'm gonna cast determination, um, purity, and haste. As you guys can see, 
those three hours were cast under my mana instead of my health and my reserved health is only thir um, 400 which is insane just because of this little guy here now going back here I'll put my reduced mana which I don't need because I already cast so what I do is I put it back here and go to town to put it on my stash to make it simple I'll put it here on the currency which I don't have anything right now because I was hot for and I, play, I don't play soft pool <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna show some gameplay that's the good stuff now guys um, I um, I'm gonna I have this map here it's just for show uh, I'm, as I said I'm level 89 so it's gonna be fairly easy but I'm gonna play very carefully so you guys have the idea how to play correctly a ranger um, and also of course I'm gonna be using rejuvenation totem which will increase my health regeneration by a lot so I basically can't tank anything it's not I don't need to kite anything to be honest but anyways also I'm gonna be using enduring cry which makes me more resistant to physical damage and also grants me all resist for hard maps such as um, lower resist maps and for PvP that's amazing um, basically for PvP this character does very well you just have to dodge attacks by moving around cast your totems and machine gun you your enemy it's very good um, okay so enough the chit chat and let's go to the gameplay okay I, I won't be talking during this to get full awareness of the combat to you guys okay so the only thing that I want to talk is about my flasks which is also of course included on spec um, I use those flasks here because this removes curse and uh, this remove frozen and those are pretty much instant uh, I hardly use that but when I do uh, it uh, instantly recovers my life so basically won't die uh, this is my runaway potion when it's needed to run it's it's not a shame a man can run <laughs> um, uh, along with these little guys here which multiplies with determination which multiplies with grace and I said 30k armor ish it's amazing it's under the screenshot that I took but one another another thing that I want to talk is as I said I played this game to max level um, this is pure theory crafty uh, included here so um, this is what I use for my offhand I use a simple sword why I use that because it's very fast why it's, why do I need that because I can leap some around you know take control over the ground that I am at it's very amazing skill um, now um, what I'm gonna show is uh, what I use I use lip slay of course as I said uh, blue magic chain to spend uh, life instead of mana and um, fast attack which makes even faster I jump very quickly uh, and my shield that's uh, basically a, a unique shield that uh, allows me to tank projectile damage so arrows and stuff things that could kill me from distance won't because uh, it multiplies my armor again so yes that's very nice uh, and I said as I used um, conductivity on my switch right uh, along with blood magic and increased duration so my curse lasts 20 seconds that's enough to kill a boss you know so I'm playing fully my business I don't <coughs> I don't curse while doing solo map and when I'm doing groups my my guys my friends use the curses um, I use only use curse when I'm doing solo maps or solo stuff or for PvP I basically cast it you know when needed and switch back to my bow and, and land out the pain <laughs> it's very effective and very fun to play with 
So enough now, I'm gonna do some gameplay to you guys see and I'll talk shortly. Have fun guys. Oh, and uh, I'll, this is very laggy for me because I'm recording, so I apologize. As you can see, stuff just melts. I'm playing with one hand here. Look my damage now. I'm, I'm fully buffed. Full frenzy charges. I'm doing almost 10k DPS. Uh, now I'm gonna. You see those little things here? That's shock stack, which multiply uh, my damage. So 10k DPS and 2.1k like narrow, but. This is insane because I'm gonna explain you guys how it works. Well, basically, if I get a huge pack of mobs here, you see, I'm gonna pop a grenade flask because I will become invisible. I will do some. In now I'm gonna do some frenzy charge. Bang! Stuff just melts because of the shock and. This um, this projectile is split among everything, as you can see. It's very effective. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type DND here to not be disturbed. Okay, so back to business. I'm gonna lay low now and just play, and I will add any information as it needed. Oh, this is a boss. As you can see, I'm taking quite damage, but when I use light arrow, um, I leech life back. Oh, that's a nice drop. This is a very fun character to play. It's very smooth. You can play much faster than that, I'm just pretty much chilling here in this video, this is my very first video, I've never recorded a video before in my life, so I hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> Let's make things interesting a little bit. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. This character can be anything in any difficult difficulty. This is actually um, merciless, the hard, the hardest um, difficulty of this game.
Oh, and something I would like to add. Um, as I said, I'm an elemental base character, so I have a very, not very good weapon, but it's very fast. That's all I need because I can actually kill stuff by doing the lead. You know, that's thing here. But it's not very wise to do. <laughs> Anyways. And that's pretty much it. This this map has been clear here. It's good. It's a good very easy map. It's a level 66 map. Maps go up to 77. Um, the difficulty is increased by a lot on these maps. This game is very hard, especially when you are with your mates. Well, um, that's a, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, uh, any questions regarding to my build, you can PM me on the the website or just you know uh, leave a comment below, and I will try to answer it as soon as I can. Um, and that's pretty much it and I'm sorry if it's laggy um, if you don't under fully understand my accent um, I'm working on it as I said I'm never I never um, made a video and it's pretty much it well, I'm gonna tell now and store my goodies right so hope you guys had fun see you guys around